Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just watched a video of mine where I was using the Parallel Dimension Tool. And he said the Parallel Dimension Tool text is so little that I have to constantly keep zooming in. And I do. But that's easily fixed. I thought I had a video on this. I just can't find it. Setting the size of a font for your text, your artistic text or paragraph text, or even the parallel dimension tool is exactly the same. Take your text tool and don't click on it. Don't click on the screen. Go right here and then hit, hit 100 points. There's a artistic text, a call out, or dimension, or paragraph text. I only want to change the dimension to 100 points. Now, when I grab the parallel dimension tool and go from that line to that line, I have a 100-point tool or 100-point text that I can readily see. I forget, you know, I don't, I don't use the parallel dimension tool all that much, but this is nice. And there's a lot, you know, you can do with it. You can, you know, put different settings at different corners. You know, instead of having a star, you can just have a asterisk. Uh, it's really a neat tool. You know, you can change, you know, put it back to that. You can change sizes of that. You can change the thickness of the line or whether you want a dotted line, you know, and things like that. But that doesn't matter because you're not going to use that in a drawing. You're just going to use it for a measurement. So just like anything else, text tool, have nothing. Don't, don't click there because then you started. Get your text tool and do not, you, you see that A, and we can make it 200 points. Dimension, check on dimension, and then grab your parallel dimension tool and go from there to there. Now it's going to be 200 points. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And then, of course, always go to tools and save as default, and it'll save that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.